Hello, good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening. How are you today? I'm good. Have you already eat your dinner? No. Why? What happened? Because it's too early. Oh, okay. Do you have many homeworks? Mm, yeah, many. So have you already make it? No. Just wait in a minute. Okay, what have you remember with our last lesson? What have what have you remember with our last lesson? Uh it's about um listening vocabulary. Yes. <clears throat> that is <coughs> Ad still adventure, right? And then that is a vocabulary. Yes. Okay, so I know we are already done with that. So now let's move on. Let's continue with our next lesson, okay? Sorry for my background or I am uh, in a dark place because we had a power interruption so i use only for a solar light okay okay so just tell me if you cannot see my slide also okay 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 can you give me three vocabulary that that has you remember standing Mm hmm Stunning. What else? Three only. I need only three. Stunning. Uh, what else? Awful. Awful. Wow, that's very good. One more. <clears throat> Oh, Captain. Yes, that's a very good. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, for remembering all the vocabulary. Okay, so I hope next time still you can remember and study also. Okay, so look, let us start with our new lesson today. Yay! So now still... <clears throat> Um, adventure, but this is on a uh, speaking time. <laughs> I know you know it, and you are very smart <sighs> on speaking. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first, okay. we have our vocabulary. Okay. So can you please read that? <gasps> it is. I know it is easy for you. Okay. So no need to write. Okay. Just remember only. Okay, can we start now? Oh, okay. Go. First vocabulary okay. is... Helmet. 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 Yes, next. Ding mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he. Mm -hmm. Next. Pedals. Paddles. 
What is that? Oh. Pools. Pools. Next. Rucksack. Safety Rucksack. Rucksack. Safety harness. harness. Yes, have you remember about safety harness that is for climbing, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, see, look. Okay, much two or more of the pieces of equipment below with each E. Okay. Sports equipment. Can you please read our sports equipment? We have go read sports equipment. Oh. So, okay, can you please read that? We have Oh. Okay, so we have how to read that? We have the boots. Go. Okay, the, the helmet. Okay, so the dung head, dung. the life jacket. Okay, so this is the life jacket, right? We have the pedals, the poles, the roof, the rucksack, and the safety harness. Okay, let me ask. What kind of sports do you like this? A, B, or C? Uh, I like the A. 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 Yes, because it is a very simple, right? And not too much dangerous. Me also is I like letter A Y, because it is a very simple to do it. Unlike this letter B, yeah. it is a very oh. dangerous. Most especially if you oh. don't know how to swim, right? Here also, yeah. some areas is a safety for you, but still that is a very dangerous. Why? Because you are just like hanging, right? Oh, and yeah. yes, and look at that is a very, very what? Very, very deep, right? It's just like in the mountain, right? Up in the mountain, and then you yeah. hung up, used by the rope, right? And then okay. the boy is not wearing a jacket also, a life jacket or something, a parachute, right? Mm. See so here, this is safety because of the life jacket. But if we are a nervous person... <sighs> We are not belong in this kind of sports, right? Okay. Oh. So next, let's move on. Okay. So this is the equipment for you here, letter A. Only the boots, the pools, and the rucksack. Okay. Meaning the bog, right? <clears throat> the boots because you are um going to climb. And then the pool so that you can... Be strong if you are very tired already, right? <clears throat> okay. Letter B, helmet, dengue, uh, dengue, life jacket, and paddles. So this is for all the equipments that you must to wear or to use. Here is the roof safety mm -hmm. harness. So in times when you are hanging and then there is something happen, so you have a safety harness, right? So only... Yeah. Um, the professional gamer do like this, right? In letter C. Yeah. Yes, only professional because they know already how to manage their body, right? Yes. 
yes, um, the <laughs> pressure also, they know already that. So they are eager to do it every day or sometimes when they have an event, right? Unlike <laughs> us, we can try that only once, but not always, right? Because okay. we are not same with them. Okay, so let's move on. Mm. So let's move on to the speaking strategy. Make sure your photo description has a simple structure. Start by saying what the photo shows in general. So we have um done with the WH question. You know it, right? Who, what, and where. Mm. Then mention interesting details. You can finish with a personal comment or some speculation. So meaning you must only describe the photo. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> let's move on. Lesson to two students describing photos A and B. Who follows the strategy before better in your own opinion? Okay, let's try. If this audio can be played. Oh, still cannot be played. Okay, let's try. We cannot do like, okay. So now let's move on to the transcript first, okay? And then we move back to the picture. Are you okay for that? So that you can answer, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I am teacher, okay? Please describe the photo. Well, on the left, there are some trees. And in the center, there's a woman walking around. Lighting up a woman. It looks like a forest holding a pole in each hand and wearing a roof stand. I think at the bottom of the picture, you can see that it's really muddy. Um, but the woman doesn't look worried. She seems to be having a good time. Thank you. Please describe the photo. Mm -hmm. The photo shows five people in a ding dinghy. There's white water rafting on a river. In the top left corner of the photo, there's a man leaning out of the boat in the foreground. There's a lot of water. The man at the back of the dinghy is trying to guide the dinghy with his paddle. The other people aren't helping very much. It looks as if they knew to it. They all wearing the same life jackets and helmets. I imagine they are doing this as a holiday activity. Okay, thank you. So that is the picture in letter A and letter B, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's move on. Complete the phrases for describing a photo with the words below. You need to use some words more than once. Then, lesson and check again. But still... We cannot lessen it. So describe a photo. You must only um guess. Okay, can you do it to guess? For example, I give you one example. The photo shows. Okay, number two until number nine. Please answer only guess. Okay, because we cannot hear the audio. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Answer number two, please. Well, well. Hmm. What is number eight? I don't know. Okay, let's check. <laughs> okay, go. Can you please read the answer? It is okay. Can you please read the answer? Oh, no. Can you please read the answer? The photo shows... The photo shows... In the uh, Shows what I cannot erase it. You cannot erase that. Okay, just wait. Yeah, okay, it's already done. <laughs> the photo shows in the form of. Well, but you know, without the lab 
corner at the top on the left in a center shows like a look seems up if they are she seems to be <clears throat> okay so just remember we have at and looks on sims and show so the photo shows right okay in the foreground background okay so that is for the task three so how do you think the people in photos a and b are feeling use the words below or other adjectives so we have feelings today we have angry bird calm excited nervous relaxed scared and shocked so here they're speculating about feelings look she's probably feeling what um. Here in the first picture. <coughs> tired? Yes. Happy? She's probably she... feeling tired and excited. Okay. So I expect they are feeling nervous in the photos number two. But maybe a bit of excited still. Judging by her expression, I'd say in the first photo, what is that? When you judge that photo. Um, what you say? Uh, she probably feels excited. Yes, excited. I expect they are feeling. Uh, are they mm, feeling scared in the photos number two? Uh, bored. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they are not bored. Okay, in picture, um, letter A, maybe the um she's bored, right? Because um he uh, she's alone. Okay, but in the photos B, the are very shocked, something just like excited, right? Something just like they are nervous. Okay, that is based on the photos that we can see, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so next. Mm, still, we cannot hear. So here, which adjectives from the task five does she use? So, can you please read? We have... He's scared. Yes, we have scared. Yes. Yes. Excited In the more. photos, you can see that they are scared. Oh. Excited. Okay. And also, they are bored. So, now, lesson again. Complete the praises at the beginning of the extract. One to six. Then, translate the praises. So, here... Okay. okay, I will give you the answer already. Why? Because we cannot hear the audio. So, we cannot answer it. So, all you have to do is just read. Okay, that is already complete answer. Okay, that. So, start number one, that until number six. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Again, we'll basically... Well, basically, you can see it in other face. Number two. Mm. To be honest, no, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yes, number three. Yeah. 
Uh, for me, the worst thing would be that I couldn't stop. A while ago, I went on a bike ride with a friend of mine. In fact, it was a really good day out. I suppose that the last time I did after activity. <laughs> okay. You're done? Yeah. Okay. So for me, the worst thing would be that I couldn't stop. A while ago, I went on a bike ride with a friend of mine. In fact, it was a really good day out, I suppose. So that is the use of the words, okay? Okay, so let's have a transcript so that you can really understand, okay? Do you think okay. the people are enjoying themselves? Yes, I think they are. Why do you think that? Why? Uh, well, basically, you can see it in their faces. They don't look scared at all. They're smiling and they seem really excited. Is it something that you would like to try? Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, no, I wouldn't. Oh, why not? Uh, I think I really scared. For me, the worst thing would be that I couldn't stop or get out of the thing. Hey, I'd have to keep going right to the end, even if I was having a bad time. Yes, I see what you mean. Now, can you tell me about the last time you did an outdoor activity? Oh, a while ago, I went on a bike ride with a friend of mine. We head out of the town and through some woods. We took food and water with us. We stayed out of about six hours, but we didn't get bored at all. In fact, it was a really good day out. I suppose that was the last time I did outdoor activity. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Describe the photo C using words and phrases from this lesson, then ask and answer those questions. Just look at the picture. Do you think the person is enjoying himself? What do you think? Okay. Okay. Yes. Because he Why? is very... I see that he is very happy. Do you think the person is enjoying himself? So your answer yes. Why? Because as we look at, he is very happy, right? Okay. So would you like to try this activity? No, because it's too uh, dangerous. Okay. So can you tell me about the last time you did an outdoor activity? Can you tell me why? Uh, I do not do the outdoor activity. Football, it is already an outdoor. You're not playing football or soccer? Oh, yes. Mm. So, football and soccer, that is already an outdoor activity. Why? Because you play it outside, okay? 
Okay. Yes. Okay, so we already done with the speaking. So what have you learned in this lesson? <clears throat> what have you learned about this lesson? About, about speaking. The, yeah. About speaking. Yes. You learn about speaking through describing the photo, right? Um, yeah. through also the feelings, right? Because so we have different feelings mm -hmm. in different photo also, on which they are excited or they are nervous or just like they are bored or they are what is that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Bored, excited, um, what else? <laughs> so scared, right? So now let's mm -hmm. move on. Because that is a very, um, that is adventure all about. So that is why we can see different photos in different outdoor activity. Okay, let's move on to our last adventure. And this is still another adventure of writing. Yeah. So, writing an invitation, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to another vocabulary. Go. What is that? Okay. 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 Absolutely. Sailing. Yes, absolutely. Next. Jet ski. Jet skiing. Next. Kayaking. Kayaking. Okay, and three feature which do you like most? Which do you like to do an activity on it? Absoling, jet skiing, or kayaking. I like kayaking. Oh, uh, you like kayaking. It is very fun, right? Yeah. Okay. So next. Yeah. <clears throat> what is that? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. We have orientering. Orientering. <laughs> Plane bowling, quad biking. Oh, which do you like? You like uh, which picture do you like most? Plane ball. Oh, do you like that? <gasps> it's like an army. <laughs> okay, I like this. It's a very adventure. Because, um, you had quite bike, quite quad biking <laughs> in the mountain, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. And this also is just like you only what? <laughs> Do you like this? The faint bowling, it is also amazing, right? So next. Yeah. Rock climbing, hard surfing, mountain biking. Okay, I which like is very mountain dangerous. Biking. You like mountain, mountain biking? biking? Okay, yeah. which uh, which do you think is very dangerous for you in the street pictures? Oh, I like the mountain biking. Yes, the dangerous one. What? Which picture is that? Uh, here. The rock climbing. Ah, the mountain biking. Why? Why? What do you think? Why you think that is very dangerous? Because it can die. <laughs> sure, really? Oh, mountain yes. biking is not totally dangerous if you have a good health. Just remember that. 
Okay. Mountain biking is just like an exercise also. But if you cannot manage yourself or the heart um the heart or the holes that you had, so that is why the mountain biking is dangerous. But if you have a good health, so you are very aggressive or something just like you're very strong and um Mountain biking is just like a sport, so you enjoy, right? And yeah. yes, it is a very dangerous if in the times you know, there is uh you are biking in the road and then there are many cars many cars and then you cannot the cars the driver cannot see you that you are biking. Because so there yeah. are many abusive drag, um, driver, driver already. So that is why mountain biking is dangerous. But for me, you know what? The most dangerous is rock climbing. Yeah. Why? A rock climbing is we don't know what happened. Right? If we are climbing in the rock and then there is something happened just like a flood. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, landslide. Even though that is a yeah. rock. Yes, yeah, so there is a tendency that because the weather is not permanent, right? Yes. Yeah, so the weather is changing every minute. Okay, yeah. For example, today is very hot. But suddenly in a uh, to the next hour, it is already rain. So that is why the rock climbing is a very dangerous because we don't know what happened also. Okay, kite surfing. Kite surfing is just like you enjoy also, right? This, that is only in the sea. But for me, I cannot see kite surfing here in our country because we only play for the kite in the land, not in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Can you see already the kite surfing in that picture? Yes. Mm, so it is very enjoy, right? Yeah. Oh, I want to see that also. But here, nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So this is the outdoor activities. So we have... Okay, this is already the outdoor, the abseiling, the jet skiing, kayaking, mountain biking, orienteering, fate bowling, quid biking, rock climbing, and the kite surfing. I like the letter B that is very adventurous. <laughs> Do you know how okay. to um to drive? Do you know how yes. to drive a bicycle? Yes. Mm. Okay, so we have here. 